Did you watch uh, Google I.O. last week? Um, one of the projects they're working on right now, uh, Starline, it gave us this uh, peak preview of the future of uh, video conference calls. So in a few years, we will be able to meet like this, like uh, some kind of 3D holograms. The feeling will be just like uh, if we were in the same room. Uh, of course, no touching and we can't smell each other, but that's about it. I mean, how will this change our needs and behaviors? If I'm here in Stockholm and you are in uh, Oslo or Istanbul, but we have the freedom to connect like this, to travel in time and space in a way that no airplane, no uh, automobile can offer. What does that mean to the whole concept of traveling? And what about impossible meetings? I mean, you can record information, so you would pr probably be able to record a meeting like this, which means you should be able to play it again, to relive it. Which means we will be able to experience old meetings and conversations, or meetings with old, um, even dead people. I mean, how hard would it be for an AI to, to study me for a while, to learn my thinking patterns and expressions? And then, um, just like that, at the touch of a button, just to bring me or anyone back to life. So then you can have a one-on-one -on -one exclusive meeting with Marilyn Monroe or um, Adolf Hitler. How about that chat? Wait, what, you're watching Netflix? You don't have better things to do? <laughs> this is one of the new things I'm writing about in my new book. You can find out more about it and, and even pre-order it now, link below. I'll see you in the future, or maybe you will see me, even if I'm not even aware of it.